We'll edit it down later. Yeah, I mean, because now it's now it's the the boring trousers podcast. Cue Kyle A. Bear, Mister. Do we even have that anymore? I I think I know where it is, but is it still in the, is it in the Dropbox that we all share for some reason? Maybe because I learned immediately after we all shared that Dropbox that if we all had individual Dropboxes and then a shared one, we would have considerably more space. Yeah. Probably so. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Boring Trousers Podcast, episode four. Shit. Wait, no. Four <coughs> was uh, Gold three. Bond. Five. Oh, you're right. Shit, so it is five. Episode. Yeah. We're going to record a number later, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and episode, and then just, I'll just say one through nine. <laughs> and then, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Maybe. One of those will be right. One of those will be right. Maybe it can be episode zero. Episode zero? Oh, shit. Yeah, the prequel. So does that mean, mm-hmm. like, Yugi is an asshole who kills people with, like, games he made up on the spot instead of just Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That is. You ever see season zero? Oh, no. I like the bit where he sets a guy on fire. Yeah. He was playing Splatoon. <laughs> Sorry. Like... So you're gonna hear her freak out periodically. <laughs> Sorry. That was actually my favorite kill. Was actually when he was all like, "Hey, we're gonna play some bullshit card game I made up by putting all these cards in a water tower, and we're gonna bungee off and grab <laughs> cards, and the person who sucks at bungee the most <laughs> dies." <laughs> Do the like, cards even matter at this point? <laughs> well, I like, there's an episode where uh, they're they're like they have yo-yos, but they're like fighting the, this gang of kids with yo-yos. Like, it's not a game. They're just fighting with yo-yos. <laughs> and one of them has like a button on the yo-yo and they press it and spikes come out. What the fuck? And there was a bit where Joey grabs some like broken glass and throws it in someone's eye. <laughs> Season shit. zero. Season zero is hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> I only ever watched the first episode, but I gotta I win get because of my friends and shards of glass. <laughs> I win because of my friends throwing shards of glass at you. That's awesome. All right, so the reason we're doing this podcast, we should probably explain. Oh shit! They don't even know we're all in the same room. We're all yeah, in the same we're room. All in the same room. Shit! No, you don't have to edit this shit. This yeah. shit should be up today. Wow. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe <laughs> today, oh, this date. Oh shit! What is the date? I don't. Whatever know. date it's uploaded. Oh, Adam. you're true. You're true. Yes. Whatever this. day it's uploaded is the day we record. Welcome it. to actually today. Let's talk about something topical. Oh my god! <laughs> um, Donald Trump. <laughs> Was doing. So I work at a news station. Anyway, uh, but Donald Trump was doing a press conference in New Hampshire, and I, I can't hear anything because we're in the studio and they're only on for like decoration or whatever. Mm. I just kind of watch muted TV at work. But like, it was just Donald Trump like gesticulating wildly, just burr, burr, burr. and every once in a while. They would put one of his quotes from the uh, press conference just at the bottom of the screen. And it was so funny. Like, um, like Trump claims to have the best minds in America on working on his policies, being that he's never announced any. Um, another one was like, Trump, on Jeb Bush, Jeb is going down the tubes, and I cherish women, and I'm really not a racist. And <laughs> Was that a real quote? <laughs> yes. And I'm like, god. oh my god, this is the greatest thing! And Donald like, Trump proves he has a black friend. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched the Republican primary debate uh, with a drinking game. What is it? Um, there were several rules, but one of them was <laughs> one of them was drink any time a candidate claims to have ties to a minority. <laughs> <laughs> and it only happened once. It was someone saying... I went to one of my friends' wedding, and he happens to be gay. Uh, and it's like, oh, yep, there, there we it go. Is. But, I... but my roommate was like, they're not a minority. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I want to see Donald Trump's birth certificate, because I don't believe he's not a Cabbage Patch kid. <laughs> <laughs> what Cabbage Patch were you born from, Trump? <laughs> but one of the rules, the one that fucked me up, was finish your drink if the words you're fired are uttered. And Trump didn't even say it. Someone wow. else said it. Wow. And I finished my amaretto sour, and I woke up at 3 a.m. <laughs> really sick. <laughs> Aren't those girly drinks? No, they're not, they're not like, fruity. They're sour. I just wanted to make fun of you. I know. Okay. <laughs> I was just trying to insult you. That was... 
that was all that was. Like, oh, well, okay. Yeah. Shit. So, yeah, that was my day at work. But, uh... Also, I woke up at like 2.30 because I'm really good at getting enough sleep at night. Your quesadilla got cold. My quesadilla got hella cold, and I remember you trying to wake me up with a quesadilla, and I tried so hard to wake up for that quesadilla. Waking you up is a strong word for what I did. I kind of just walked in, and I was like, quesadilla. And I was like, oh shit, he made... Oh god, he made quesadillas. Quesadilla. Adam, get up, please, get a quesadilla. <laughs> nope. And so, cause mom called me like a half hour before I was supposed to be at work. I was like, hey, can you go and run errands around the city of Abilene for me? I was like, oh, well, thanks, mom. Appreciate that. But hey. And then I, mean, I asked you to do more errands. Yeah. Yay! No, it was no big deal. That was going from a Mickey D's run. I can go on a Mickey D's run. Mickey D's. Mickey D's. Mickey's dick. I love garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, typically I avoid McDonald's, but... It's so cheap, it's so cheap. It, it's cheap, and it's here, and it's... it's filling in fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we have a lot of chicken. The obesity <laughs> epidemic in America, in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. It's cheap, and it's fast, and it's here, and I don't know. And we have so much chicken. Right. <laughs> well, I, I would have taken a a, chick, a crispy chicken salad from McDonald's. Those are, those are yeah. Salads are very healthy. But it's so much cheaper, it's just... Buy eight McDoubles. And it's about the same amount of calories as a McDouble. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, salad is good, though. Salad is um, nice. Like, salad. nice cold salad with some warm chicken. But they always have cold chicken. Or on warm salad. Yeah, cold chicken or warm salad is what you get at McDonald's. Yeah. Never get both. Life hack. Get a salad without chicken on it, then buy a McChicken and just without or mayonnaise. chicken nuggets. Oh yeah, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are delicious. Chicken, just chicken nuggets on a salad. Negate the shit out of that salad with some chicken nuggets. Maybe you can put some Wendy's chicken on it and send it to an art museum. Oh, that's true. Mm. I actually wasn't there. I remember seeing like some kind of list of people just mixing different. It was a BuzzFeed video, I think. Mm-hmm. Just people just mixing different fast food things. And feeding them to their employees. It's like, hey, let me see your reaction to eating this gross ass food. <laughs> well, what was the purpose to it? Like, hey, watch a bunch of BuzzFeed uh, employees reluctantly eat this food. Well, it's like you can you can get a uh, you can go to McDonald's, most McDonald's, and order a McGangbang, and that's I believe a Big Mac with a McChicken stuffed in. They won't actually let us do that here. I have to buy them separately. I'm glad that there's an item at McDonald's called the McGangbang. That's why they won't let you buy it here. Yeah. Like I mean, I've been to places where it's like, can I get a McGangbang? Like, sure, and then they just give you the two. Sandwiches. Yeah, I've never had a McGangbang. They're actually pretty all right. Pretty all right. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I, you know, go for that. Yeah. I don't know if pretty all right is like enough. I mean, by all means, don't like <laughs> for me to for me to walk up and be like, it's not a life changing experience. It's just something I like to eat. Just walk up and be like, hey, McDonald's employee. I want a McGangbang. Do you remember the last time you came here and you asked Sonic to make you that gross ass drink? <laughs> <laughs> and did they were they the ones that just said no? We won't do that. Uh, no, no, they made it. It's just no. they didn't make it right. No, they didn't make it right. It's not gross. You okay. tasted it and it was nasty. Yeah, but the, the general concept is not gross. <laughs> you can get an orange Sprite blended float, which is Sprite with orange flavoring in it, and then they put it in a float. But they didn't blend it here so it was gross and then in my like hometown they were just like we're not gonna do that (laughs) (laughs) i don't remember if they said we're not gonna do that for you or we're not gonna do that to you but they said we're we're just not we're not gonna do that (laughs) that reminds me um one of my starbucks employees friends i think it might have been jason when he worked there he was just like somebody asked him to make a latte chai like mix milk and coffee and tea all together and give it to them and he was just like I'm not gonna do that to you I'm sorry it's like but I, you said that I could put whatever I wanted in my drink like listen I'm not gonna put coffee in tea in a cup and give it to you I'm not gonna do that like no it was Kaylee I yeah, remember that's right it was Kaylee cause she was just like no <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm uh, sorry I feel like at that point You're just preventing so, uh, You are you are doing self-harm prevention Yeah right It's yeah. like Can I just drink some poison? No <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sell you poison I'm sorry It's like when that Old lady tried to buy Saints Row for her grandson Oh yeah uh, When I worked at uh, Play and Trade 
this lady came in and was like, Yeah, uh, my son wanted this game, or grandson, like this game, Saints Row the Third. And that was when um, somebody went to E3 and got one of those dildo bats to promote that game. Mm-hmm. And it was just, like, the dildo bat was in the back. Like, I couldn't look this woman in the face and go, yeah, sure, I'll <laughs> let your eight-year-old play that game. Actually, let me go get some swag from that game. <laughs> you know, it was like, no, ma'am, I, I can't. I do, can't do say that. Do you know if they still have the dildo bat? I don't know. Um, I haven't been back there in years. I know they still have, like, a buster sword that is falling apart. Uh, it's actually not like a solid piece of metal. Right. It's got like rivets and stuff, and like it's like held together with different pieces. Mm-hmm. I think it might be a different character's Buster Sword, but regardless, it's falling apart. Like it's a very dangerous piece of metal. It's like it's like it's a Buster Sword, but it's like jangles mm-hmm. when you move it, and yeah. like bolts will fly off of it. And it's like, I, don't... I think that might be more normal for uh, sword replicas because you're not actually supposed to swing them around. Yeah, but like. I mean, just holding it, it's like, ding, it's like oh no. <laughs> uh, and I, I think that's just the design flaw of the Buster Sword being a fucking ton. Yeah, that's true. It's not, it weighs too much for it to hold itself together, really. That Saints Row story reminds me of something I read on Reddit, and you know, this, this makes good podcast material, reading Reddit posts, mm-hmm. pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, confirming that you didn't <clears throat> go to Reddit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it was someone working at GameStop, and... With someone was like, yeah, I want to buy uh, Grand Theft Auto V, I believe. Or something like that. And it's like, oh, well, ma'am, you know, it's rated M for this. And then she explained how to go to the ESRB's website and look up exact... Like, they put out, like, paragraphs... Oh, yeah. ...on what's wrong with the game. Great paragraphs like, to read, you know, by the way. player-initiated torture scenes mm-hmm. and things like that. Mm-hmm. So she looks it up, and the mom's like, he knows I don't like games like that. What about... What about Gears of War? <laughs> and so they look up Gears of War. And it's like, now what about what about uh, Call of Duty? And just kept going down. Is it like this, a bunch of games that he already owns? Yes, every M <laughs> game that he has ever that is that was popular. That's awesome. And she was like, mm, I am livid. I am going to go take all of this away. And she was like, Great, you know, you can come to GameStop and trade it in and get uh, new stuff. And she's like, Thank you, thank you so much. So later, she comes back a week later with, like, duffel bags. <laughs> Holy shit! And she's like, I have taken all of his M-rated games and all of his consoles. So she took all of it and traded it all in. And it's like, let me buy one of those Wiis. And so okay. she buys a Wii and okay. a bunch of E-rated games. Okay. And it's like, do you have any leftover Xbox One boxes? Oh my god! And she's oh, like, what an asshole. she's like, are you gonna put, are you gonna put the Wii in it? It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right. You're evil, but okay. <laughs> I mean, was it at least a Wii U so no. you could have some good E-rated games? No, fuck. When you you've been lying to you, you've been lying to your mother about your all games. you get is shit E-rated games you get for a years Wii probably. And shovelware. Now, 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 there might have been like a Mario in there, or no, like you know, a Mario, and then like three different Wii Party games. But like every like Sonic game for the Wii sucks ass. Okay, yeah, Sonic but, Colors is okay. But there's Mario Galaxy but. and Galaxy 2. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that kid doesn't care. That kid's used to Grand <laughs> Theft Auto. Call of Duty. Can't, can't be like all of us who just jump straight from Splatoon to fucking Monster. Meet and Fuck Kingdom. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> you play that, right? We all play that. No. I have the collector's edition. <laughs> Game of the Year edition? Game of the Year edition, Meet and Fuck Kingdom. Game of the Century edition. HD Remix? HD Remix. HD Remix Turbo. <laughs> Turbo? As in, like, twice the speed? <laughs> <laughs> and then just everything goes twice two as fast. Two speeds, fast, and way too fast. <laughs> Which, that, that reminds me of, a. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping we didn't say that I didn't like talk about this story in another podcast, but uh, I, there was this kid I knew in high school who, uh, in, in gym class, he would come up to me, and it, when he was not talking about Super Nintendo by uh, <laughs> Kerberfer, Kerberfer, oh God, he he was trying to which, show which me which kid is this? Give us the name, the 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 code I, name. I the I kid, ever... This one doesn't have a kid name. No, but we can we can probably figure one out from like Nintendo kid. It's not Bernie no, 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 you, You'll you'll see. I'm, I'm not to like the apex oh, of the shit. story. So in between telling me about Super Nintendo, 
he would try to show me his collection of furry porn on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fur kid, all right. Fur kid. For, okay. I get you. And, uh, I, I mean, the story isn't very long, but, uh, whenever I called Aerith, Aerith, he would get really infuriated. What did he call her? Aerith. It's a TH. How did he say it? Well, it was Aeris in, like, in the, the original seven. Yeah. When it was translated. They, they called her Aeris. But it's Aerith everywhere else, forever. Because her name is supposed to be, sounds similar to Earth. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I get it. But she was originally Aeris. Aeris by translator Liberty. Yeah, and uh, if you if you say Aerith around him, he would just go berserk. You did a voice whenever you told me this story for him. Whenever you said how he would be outraged, like, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's Aerith, not Aerith! It's Aerith! <laughs> God damn. Like, you, hmm? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. And uh, he, he irritated me because he would not call Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. He would call it Kingdom Hearts 3 Birth by Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but the third sequel to the Kingdom Hearts series, <laughs> PSP exclusive. Was it, this isn't the same kid. Maybe this was elementary school. The Inspector Gadget one? No, no. Oh that, that, that was in a different state. I heard yeah. of the uh, What's I, the I'll, Inspector Gadget? I'll, I'll go into him in a minute, but <laughs> here's what I want to get to. He he would tell me this fantasy he have of fucking his girlfriend, oh, and then yeah. before it's over, be like, "Hey, come in here, Sonic." <laughs> 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 and then Sonic was. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you have told this story, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, Sonic, finish he, this up for me, bro. He had a girlfriend, though. I know! Did she know about it? I'm sure she was into lots of weird shit, okay. too, but... She'd probably be like, yeah! What? Sonic the Hedgehog? You remember Sonic Passion? Sonic, Sonic Passion. Remember when you tried to start Banjo Passion? It's still What do you mean, try available. to? No, I started right. it. Oh, well, shit. It was over. You didn't realize that the countdown timer was counting up? Uh, <laughs> the seconds were counting down Everything else counted up That's amazing <laughs> I fucking love you <laughs> I didn't even I didn't stay there long enough I was like Banjo pa-. Nope <laughs> What is this bro I didn't know what I was going to do with it That's I just awesome. realized that Banjo Passion was available And then I bought it Because I had no sense of like Fiscal responsibility Listen though at least no one else will buy and start Banjo Passion. If you would like to buy and start Banjo Passion, please contact me at cj at boringtrousers.com. Thank you. That's cj at b-o-r-i-n-g-t-r-o-u-s-e-r-s dot com. Yes. Sorry, dot c-o-m. Dot c-o-m. Yeah. Remember, not this Christian, not C A W M. Don't do that shit. Okay. This Christian station I heard on the way in that was just they wouldn't say org, they would always say dot o r g, hmm. and it was consistent across their station. So obviously this is something they told. Their yeah, that DJs was a corporate decision. That yeah. was a, a corporate decision because I guess the people who the older people who were listening to that didn't know what dot org was dot org. They thought it was an orcish website. Well, wait, how will they know not to like literally type in DOT? I guess. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll never know. The world may never know. By the way, um, I have four stations on my presets. Those are the only stations that are not country or Christian stations. Good. And even the fourth one on Sunday nights, it becomes a Christian station. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Is it at least Christian butt rock? It is Christian Butt Rock, but funnily enough, it's the most varied radio show that I've ever listened to. They always have some new shit to play. It's great. Like, but it's like, you well, can dude. hardly Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, Your Lord and Savior. I don't know. I don't know what I'm fucking doing. I am all I am all I am in Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me and we will escape from hell. <laughs> Crush Fortis should do some Christian rock songs. They don't know. The money's not in Sonic the Hedgehog, guys. The money is in Jesus. I am the Savior. Well, that's what I am. <laughs> if, you, if you told... 
some people would tell you that Sonic is their Jesus. Oh, yeah, you're correct. You are correct. Mm. Actually, the Tails song from Sonic Adventure 1 sounds like Sonic is his Jesus. Like you don't like you don't have to change any of the lyrics and that's just a Christian song if yeah. you just think about it in the context of God and not Sonic the Hedgehog. But on the flip side, you can also interpret it as Tails getting high as fuck. That's true. <laughs> That's his version of smoke weed every day. You can call me Jesus. I'm like Satan. I don't pieces. Pe- I'd rather flex my penis. <laughs> it's tougher than leather. No. <laughs> Jesus' penis is tougher than leather. Ah, uh, well, he's hard as nails. It's not hard to tell. It's not. Fun theology lesson. Did you know that Jesus went into a temple where folks were trying to sell shit and beat? everyone up yeah. like he flipped their tables and like released their animals and whipped them out it was awesome yeah, that sounds like a scene from Yakuza <laughs> yo it's the fighting freak Jesus <laughs> you and ready we're in this temple you, you ready, ready? <laughs> oh kill me kill me now she's playing Splatoon still Oh, this Whoa! Bro, oh, this boss is a <laughs> Holy shit, ass. that was cool. This is some sort of clan. That's the boss. It's a clan. You, you gotta, like, make it sink into your ink, but the platform starts circling around. It could be a pain to get it to sink. Holy shit, that's awesome. This game has some good Sorry. bosses. I just, I, we, tur- we turned around and started just looking at Splatoon, and the mic <laughs> could barely hear it. That's fine. <laughs> People don't listen to this podcast for quality. That's fair. You, you guys are subscribed to If you're still listening after travel. all of those terrible Jesus Sonic parodies, <laughs> then you don't care that we looked away for a few minutes. And watched a really cool boss fight in Splatoon. Because you're probably dead. Oh. This is or Katie. Or dead inside, at least. <laughs> if you watch this all the way. Or Katie. Or Katie. Katie. Katie's the only one who listens to our podcast who's probably not dead inside. <laughs> if you're dead inside, comment, like, subscribe. Comment, like, subscribe if you're dead inside. If you're not dead inside, comment, like, and subscribe. You're, all, and you're subscribe. probably already subscribed because you're you're not dead inside. Yeah, I don't know. you probably already I'm pressed the button. I'm mixing messages here, folks. Hey, dead inside, not dead inside. Who we gives have, a fuck? Better call Saul. Subscribe to Boring Trousers. I really want to watch Better Call Saul. By the way, I hear it's pretty good. Like we watched. Have you seen Breaking Bad? I've seen like a few episodes of it, and then maybe a bit from the last episode. I think. Dude, you should watch it with you, like, holy dude, shit. I've been watching Malcolm, like, we've been watching, like, Malcolm in the Middle a little bit as well, mm-hmm. after Breaking Bad, I'm, I'm after, glad. after Breaking Bad, Malcolm in the Middle, I'm like, glad you're totally consistent. 30% better. <laughs> the solid 30. You just imagine that the same character? Yeah. And a lot of the stuff that Hal says kind of just like, that's really Waltish, Hal, don't... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and some of the oh, shit yeah. that Walt would say was kind of, like, hellish. <laughs> like, yeah, he is still a bumbling dad at the end of the day. <laughs> Meth dealer or no, no matter how breaking many deaths he's responsible for, he's... Breaking dad? <laughs> breaking bad is still just the ultimate, like, stupid dad show. God, you're... Wow, I never even thought about it like that. He's still just a bumbling, like, you're not very good at being a dad dad. Yeah, he's just... He's just like evil. Oh. Also, <laughs> yeah. he's just also a evil. Yeah, where Hal and you know Mister Proud, they're not evil. They're just stupid. How hey, son, weird, you down with the with the crack with the rest of these <laughs> these kids? The 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 white <laughs> crystal. The... And again, if Hal started making meth, he'd probably try to rope his sons into selling it for him, <laughs> not just adopt another kid. Like Walt if, did. Listen to me. If Hal started selling meth, Lois would murder his ass. Like actually he, murder him. Not... She wouldn't get someone else to do it or like, <laughs> cry like Skylar did. She would just murder him. Breaking Bad spoilers? Yeah. No, no. No. Skylar cried. Skylar cried. Spoilers. Walt made meth. Spoilers. Walter White's wife didn't like the fact that he was making meth. There's no nothing spoilers. If you like the fact that Walter White was making meth, please leave a comment. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. In that order. Sweet. Now we can put Breaking Bad in the tag so more people will watch it. Hell yeah. Remember no, guys, hashtag Breaking Bad. <laughs> hashtag Boring Trousers. CJ is CJ is shaking his head and saying no. He's shaking his head and saying no. Like, 
Still saying it. Still saying it. Saying is a strong word. <laughs> With, I'm, I'm mouthing. mouthing no. Mouthing no. Just, no. But that's what saying a word is. I could still, like, I'm still reading that as no. You're still saying no. They just can't read it as no. I can translate. No? No. 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 No more mountain rapid. <laughs> I keep forgetting what kind this is. Mountain rapid. Yeah. You want to talk about cheap brands. There's like Walmart, I guess, is like the highest tier of cheap, cheap brands. Cheap brands, yeah. And then it's like, okay, maybe you went to Target or Dollar General. Nah, this shit's from Kmart. Kmart soda. It's actually better than Mountain Dew to me. Like vanilla Mountain Dew. Not literally vanilla Mountain Dew. Yeah. I think that might exist. But I mean, like regular default. Mountain so you think Dew. that Mountain Rapids is better? You mean Mountain Dew OG? Yeah, Mountain Dew OG. The Mountain Rapids is better than OG Mountain Dew, but Voltage kicks all other Dews' ass. I love I love Voltage. What's your favorite Mountain Dew? Please go to the comments and leave. Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that is technically a Mountain Dew flavor in it. Yes, that's awesome. Gush and yeah. Granny. Gush and mm. Granny Smith. Gush and Granny. That. that my favorite part about that is just that it was like different variations for like <laughs> seven steps. It's great. How about, um, please, if you like a certain type of Mountain Dew or Mountain Dew off brand, send an email to the name of that off brand at boringtrousers.com. <laughs> it won't go anywhere, and you're going to get like a kickback message saying that no, that's not an email address. But do it anyway. Yeah, why not? Yeah, and tell us your story. I mean, we won't get it. Yeah. I think you should secretly, like, take one brand and do make an email of it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see who agrees with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, Dollar General is Mountain Explosion. I don't think you can beat Mountain Explosion. That's just a volcano. Why yeah. not just call it I Volcano? Mean, mount and Explosion. I mean, oh, that's, no. that's what I, I feed your mom every night. A mountain ha, explosion? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Ha. I, 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 he's talking about semen. Oh, I thought it was talking about molten rock. Well, well, not really semen as much as the act of ejaculation. Oh. Yeah, someone, I saw on Tumblr, someone was like, yeah, the first one I ever read had someone, like, see someone ejaculate on the ground and said, she reached down and picked up a spur, a semen. Oh. <laughs> Basically. I'm like, oh. It's like, she saw some semen on the ground and reached down to pick one up. <laughs> <laughs> she picked up one semen. <laughs> Just imagine like an inventory screen. You have one semen. She must have it's really good eyesight. To yeah, right. Like well, and the motor. Oh, yeah, the, the, that's a sperm. You don't yeah. pick up a semen. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you do if you're you're playing semen on the Sega Dreamcast. Don't, out now. Don't touch a semen. Those are creepy as shit. If you like semen for the Dreamcast, good for you. Yeah. Don't tell us about it. <laughs> no. Don't like. Comment or subscribe. Don't like, comment, or Unless subscribe. Unless you were you... previously supposed to like, comment, or subscribe. Yeah, that doesn't override... If you like C-Man, that doesn't override that you're supposed to like, comment, and subscribe already. But if you do, and the other ones don't apply, don't bother. If you if you find this confusing, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, if you find it confusing, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Just to make sure. Yeah. If you're wondering when this podcast will end, like, comment, and subscribe Like, to comment, find subscribe out. to find out. Or just look at the YouTube bar. And Don't see look at the YouTube it. bar. You have oh, to like, comment, and subscribe. It might include, like, five hours of silence. Five hours of silence. <laughs> or just, like, five hours of room noise. Just No, because <laughs> we'll still be here. Yes. It's just you hear a sort of muffled voices in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that guy, that guy sure got the head of me. Uh, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> that is, that's what Splatoon sounds like. That's what Splatoon is. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this morning I yelled dick and balls. Dick yeah. and balls? <laughs> At Splatoon or just cuz? At Splatoon. Oh. Some dick and balls. Some I fighting. just screamed dick and balls just cuz, you know? Oh yeah. Just hanging out. Hanging out. We had planned on like recording this the day that we arrived. But so yeah, that would be delirious. But I just plopped on the couch and fell asleep. Yeah, and then we were gonna do it last night, but then we had a party that lasted until like you two don't know, but until five a.m. Oh, oh yeah, I went and passed the. Fuck was it out. still a party at that point? It was really just hanging out with David. Yeah, I figured. But and, and the other guy. Darren. Yeah. Darren. I, I took Darren home. Uh, but David stuck around? Yeah. David yeah. stuck around for a little bit. Talk, we shot the shit. 
and then like we went and got guns and shot some feces. Some feces. Yeah. It's pretty nice. David, of course, being the creator of the fan video. Yeah, Bass Beast. That's yeah. what I call him. It's uh the only video he's ever made, ever. Ever, even on his own channel, he doesn't do videos. Don't don't look at the Bass Beast JD YouTube channel. There's nothing there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, comment, subscribe to Bass Beast JD DJ. What, what is it? Bass Beast <clears throat> JD. Like, comment, subscribe. Bass Beast JD. Well, what's the URL? Um, HTTP colon backslash. Is it? No, it's a forward slash. Forward slash, forward slash, backslash, no, forward slash. No, there's no backslashes. And then a forward there's slash. There's no backslashes in URLs, Adam. Backslash. W, w, no. w, period, Y-O-U, T-U, Q, B-E, Q, dot, C-O-M, dash, slash, dash, U-S-E-R, dash, slash, B-A-S-S, D-I-C-K-S. Slash. <laughs> do not <laughs> no do it <laughs> and then report back report back your findings comment, comment and subscribe and then unsubscribe we haven't looked at it what if, what if it's like a youtube channel that's like dedicated to like sexing fish like figure out which bass ones are oh, bass bass dicks. Dicks. Bass dicks. it's like how yeah. to find the bass dick I was thinking like a dude playing bass like with his dick like, legitimately <laughs> it's B A S B E A S T J D? Yeah. Base Beast J D, yeah. Base B A S S. Did I say one S? He's a beast on the bass. Legitimately yeah. though, it like watching him play music when he's in a music mood is kind of jarring. He'll just jump <clears throat> from instrument to instrument, play something beautiful, and then just kind of move on nonchalantly. It makes me hate him. And he spends that talent on ponies. <laughs> he spends that talent on fucking pones. Well, if you don't remember, I'm pretty sure at one point you guys were arguing, like, a year or two ago about which pony was the best pony. Pinkie Pie's the worst pony. You fucking faggots. No, Fluttershy is the worst pony. Okay, yeah, Fluttershy is the worst pony. I was never a brony. Chie is the best pony. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if you can even hear that. I don't care. I was never a brony. He also said that Chie was the best pony. Yeah, Steven Universe is a good show. Fuck yeah, Steven Universe is a good show. Can we talk about Steven Universe for a little bit? We've never talked about Steven Universe. Dude, guys, right? just for the record. You've never seen Steven Universe. Nah, I've never seen it. Most of Boring Trousers loves Steven Universe. And, oh, you, man, you're going to see some Steven Universe. <laughs> I suppose that's inevitable. Yeah. It's a real good show. It's a real good show. Fucking, I don't want to talk about it now uh, I mean I, I, I got I got a, a crunchy roll count if you want to watch it legally <laughs> yeah well, it is anime as shit the, the, that and for that and for Breaking Bad mm-hmm, Breaking Bad and Malcolm in the Middle Mal- <laughs> Breaking Bad Malcolm in the Middle and Steven Universe crunchy roll I mean to be fair Breaking Bad is probably one of the greatest slice of life do they have the rights <laughs> to to Robot Chicken it's Which the is only. The it's, o- it's the really only. the only. I think that's owned by Funimation. That oh. might be on Hulu. I thought that was Viz. Viz always has the popular stuff. Like Viz yeah. has Naruto. You'd think they'd have Robot well, Chicken. Well, I mean, Funimation has like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, but I mean, I think Fun like Viz only has and One Piece. only has yeah. popular. Stuff. They don't have any like obscure shit. Like Funimation gets everything. Yeah, that's Funimation true. has the rights to like. My otaku teacher, or a world where dirty jokes don't exist, and like I love these really bizarre, specific names that the that these anime have, and I don't know if that's just like a trans a difference in like translation. No, like the titles are actually just long ass sentences. Like the there's a good show that I actually like. It's like a really good drama. It's actually called. The day that the flowers bloomed, or we didn't see the flowers bloom that day, or something like that. Like, it's a long... Like, I was really surprised by the anime The Devil is a Part-Timer. The Devil is a Part-Timer is way better than anybody expected it to be. Better than it had any business being, to mm-hmm. be completely frank. The Devil's alright, too. But we say all that to say, come on, uh, dubbing studios, where is Robot Chicken? Yeah. We want to see that robot chicken dub. It's a petition. I need localized robot I mean, chicken. Everyone go to change.org and start your own petition. If you 
fuckers <laughs> are getting the Attack on Titan movies to a limited release, where the fuck is Robot Chicken? Wait, pause. <laughs> Jokes aside, it had a limited release? Like, oh, yeah, it's, oh, well, that's well, it's getting one. It. It's getting a limited release. The first one on, like... Thirtieth, I think. Dude, that's this like month? that's like Dragon Ball Evolution getting a limited release. And then the second one, which well, it's like I the the shit. two Dragon Ball Z movies that came out recently were on limited release. That's fair. Um, and I guess that whatever whatever place has a deal with Funimation will always have. People at work are talking about how good that movie is. And I Battle really of the Gods see it. sucked. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I heard that it was all right. It was like, are you gonna watch it? I'm going to watch Dragon Ball Super, probably not the movies. Do you, do anyone, do any of you care I, about spoilers? No. Okay. Dragon Ball spoilers, okay. like, really? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so let's, let's skip to the, the... Uh, oh, wait, wait, we have an audience, we have an, uh, If you care about Dragon Ball spoilers, just, like... Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. But also, just skip to... Try to skip ahead until we're not talking about Dragon Ball anymore. I don't okay. know when that'll Or just watch the movie, pause it, watch the movie, and come back. Yeah, and then you can come or back. Or just listen, who cares? All right, so the plot is that Lord Beerus, destroyer of worlds, who yeah. everyone, who of course Vegeta knows about already, but has never spoken about, <laughs> uh, you know, this guy who just destroys worlds on a whim, and Vegeta's never thought to even mention it. So, hey uh, guys, by oh, the yeah, way, there's this guy. Oh yeah, that guy was a neighbor of mine. Yeah. <laughs> so Lord Beerus shows up. He's the cat dude. Oh, Anubis. Yeah, he's Anubis. His name's Lord Beerus. Mm-hmm. And. uh... The only one who's scared is Vegeta, because Vegeta's like, oh shit, he's gonna destroy the world. So he's over there, like, bending over backwards for this guy, even though it's Bulma's birthday. Ooh. So that's drama, drama, drama. Mm-hmm. Um, so eventually, uh, he gets mad because Boo eats the last pudding, and he wanted the pudding. Beerus? So, yeah, so Beerus is like, yeah, I'm gonna destroy the world now. And Goku's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> and beats him up? Tries to. Uh-huh. Um, is Can't quite get there, but... Then he hears about Super Saiyan God, which of course Vegeta also knows about, but has never mentioned. I Vegeta, dude, you're dropping the I ball. Think. Either that or just Beerus mentioned it, and they explained it away that way. Anyway, so it's like, okay, I'm gonna become a Super Saiyan God, but he can't. He can't do it. It's sad. So he's like, there is one way. You can draw power from uh, like five Saiyans. And you'll get, you can become a Super Saiyan God. So the people that are available are, uh, Gohan. Yeah. Vegeta. Uh-huh. Uh, Gotenks. Gotenks, yeah. Trunks. Is Pan born yet here? Maybe it was Pan and not Gotenks. I don't know. There were four, and they needed five. And they're like, oh, man. We're, we're one Saiyan short. And then Gohan's girlfriend, wife? V- uh, Videl. Videl. Videl's like, no, there is one more saying. <laughs> is she, is she that is how pregnant. she Is that how she is not? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Hey, guys, this is really convenient. I've been wanting to let you guys know, but the world was going to get they destroyed. They draw power from a Saiyan fetus. Sweet. Adam. That's Jesus. fucking awesome. But... But, you think it's this whole... This is that whole why Pan about, is such like, weak shit? I guess, I don't know. Because Pan is weak shit in Dragon Ball So, Bajit it's too. like, you need, you, you need your friends to get by, right? That seems like the message. It's like, hey, you can get by with your friends. Well, come the end of the fight, like, Beerus is standing there, because, you know, of course, he, he doesn't kill Beerus or anything. Yeah. Because Beerus is a pretty chill dude when he's not angry. Whatever. He's a Hufflepuff, Goku. So, <laughs> so he's just like, by the way... You lost the power from the Saiyans a long time ago. You're maintaining Super Saiyan God all on your own. So the message is, you don't need friends. You can just be strong enough on your own. (laughs) The end. Also, get your power from fetuses. Pro-choice! I love these these anime morals that are not relatable in any way to actual people. That's why I like One Piece. (laughs) Yeah, yo! Don't give it up. Hitler! Don't give it up, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Don't give it up, pause. Hitler! <laughs> Don't give it up, Ayn Rand! <laughs> give it, give it up, give it up, give it up! Yo! So, L-A-D-Y, Ayn Rand's not shy. No, I just, I'm thinking about that One Piece crew, just Jesus, Hitler, Ayn Rand. Um, Who's the cook? 
Ayn Rand's oh, the wait, cook. Oh, wait, Hitler's the cook. <laughs> he God. takes it fresh out of the oven. <laughs> By the way, we're done talking about Dragon Ball. <laughs> we're done talking about Dragon Ball. Oh, shit. I love you guys. Fuck, it's 825. I have to go back to work. All right, well, this okay. is... This is a short podcast, but a podcast nonetheless. It's about 40 minutes long. That, well, we'll cut some bits. Thank you for listening to the Born Child Podcast. Shit. I'm going to drive for 15 hours tomorrow. Woo! Woo! Well... Oh, I thought we were done. Oh. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Just that noise happens. And that's it. It's like the end of my corruption video. With the t- 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 <laughs> we'll, we'll put this in after like 30 seconds of silence. <laughs> Just, oh, I thought, I thought we were done. No, we'll put that in. And then 30 seconds of silence. And Oh, I thought. <laughs> All right. Well, shit. Bye, everybody.